Stay tuned for instructions on that. I've got some photos to show and also some mail to open as well. Kelly Ashford, thank you very much. Oh, this is a spooky one, I think. Can you run the grey saddle tank engine and a grey goods train? The ghost train. <laughs> that sounds creepy, Kelly. That is going to give me palpitations, is that? Well, thank you, Kelly. Yes, we could do that. And uh, hopefully I'll pick that idea one day and we'll get made into a video. So, Theo, cheers very much for that. That's very good of you. And uh, thanks for the ideas. I've not, never got enough ideas so that's really great to see yeah theo says trace pierce yeah let's have it for theo in the chat right so i'll put the chat up and i will write down the next set of super charts super charts all charts are good right <laughs> didn't make any sense so the last one we did i did william towns church word okay kelly it's you're up kelly you're up it's your turn kelly so you want the grey settle tank, that's the 1361, plus a grey goods. If you um, get easily frightened folks, it might be time to close the stream because this is going to get weird and wild pretty quick. That sideways, alright. Let's do it then, let's try. So, I'd, <laughs> I think most of this stuff is going to have to come off because there are no grey goods on there. So. Let's do Kelly's first, because I, I, I am feeling a little worried about having to do this, so hopefully we'll survive this. Oh, Kelly, why, why do you insist on doing these things? You know how fragile my nerves are. Right, let's put these two on side. 
We'll start with the saddle tank, and I'll grab some grey rolling stuff. Okay, we've got quite a lot of grey rolling stuff out already. Alright, so there's the the frightening ghost locomotive. Here's the first of the ghost wagons. There we go. There's another ghost box van right there. You see, box van, that's a kind of an Americanism, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, I think so. They call them box cars, but it's halfway there. Uh, okay, let's find some more ghost wagons. There's a grey one. There's a grey one. I suppose that one's white, really, but... I, th I, th I think uh, I think this train's going to be scary, whatever happens. There we go. And I've already got uh, a ghost brake van ready to go, so there we go. Kelly, you'll have to... You can, you can rate the ghost train out of ten. How about that? Spooky levels. In fact, everyone can do it. How many of you are not going to sleep tonight because of this ghost train? Scary stuff, scary stuff. I, I need to age restrict this video, that's what I mean. Okay, there we go. Let's get it out of shot, just so that I don't look at it by accident while I'm setting the rest of the trains up. There we are. Okay, Toby, off you get. You don't, <laughs> you don't want to be on the track during this, my friend. Oh, no. Okay. Let's whip those off. I don't think I need any of those, do I? Probably now. And I will just move Chris out of the way. <laughs> I'll just give him a push, because obviously he's short-circuited right there. Let's see. Uh, Sam Haslam wants a shout-out. There you go, Sam. I just caught you there. Right, we'll give this one more chance. I mean, technically speaking, Chris now has run in the request, so maybe that counts. We'll see. Come on. Oh no, he's going the wrong way. Go on, forward you go, mate. Come on. Yes, it's uh, not the best loco in the world, I'm sure you can tell. Let's just pull it back onto the straight. It seems to work alright on the straight. Yeah, it does. So does do curves throw him off or something? speed it up so we can get around it. No. Sorry folks. <laughs> I don't think Chris is going to grace us with his presence today. I suppose I could try and turn him round. Pull from the front. Let's try that. Come on Christopher. Yeah. Like I say, it's not really, it's not a very good look. <laughs> I hate to say it. I kept my promise and I still got him but yeah. It's a uh, habit, really. Right, backwards then. Let's try it. Oh, I can smell burning. How to burn down your model railway, part four. No, it's not happening, I don't think, folks. Just pull the body off. I'm not going to spend too much time messing around with this. There we are. Pull the Velcro body off. Let's see. This might be the first time ever I've run a naked loco on street. Let's see if this is any better. It's going to come into your shot in a second, hopefully. Let's see. Alright, okay. <laughs> like I say, I think it is something to do with the way the body's mounted. But, yeah, Chris lives. But not in his entirety. As you can see, he's not a terrible runner. Just need to figure out what shorting while the body's on. And I think that was William Town. Was that William Town? The ghost train caused you to hyperventilate. Oh no, William, I'm so sorry. I haven't actually been... Oh, we just missed it. Here it comes. Oh, gosh. I can see why, William. I can see why. Look at that. At least it's not the Helgen one, though. I mean, all jokes aside, if it was the Helium 1361, I think we would have casualties in the audience. So, I guess we should be glad about that. But there we go. No, Kelly, in all seriousness, that's a very good idea. Thank you for that. And we'll leave this camera on, because Percy's about to come in.